Welcome to Work Hard Talk Shit. As if we didn't have enough of Matty Bolton, we've got him again. We did <laughs> the other one because Jenk the retard deleted that. So anyway, let's start. Yeah, so um, we did this podcast last week with uh, Matty Bolton. Um, it was around a 40-minute podcast after It editing. was a really boring one. You didn't miss a lot. No, it was really good, and I accidentally yeah, it's, deleted it's, it. Because Jenk's a retard. It's, mm. kind of, it's kind of a blessing in disguise, though, because we had a... F- like a fuckload of technical difficulties. Yeah, the call kept dropping, you kept on losing your internet, and uh, things like that, but yeah, I accidentally deleted it, so we're going to do it again. Um, I'm just going to skirt over um, how we started the last one, which was talking about your channel, Matty. Um, so we'll just do that again, despite it happening last week, um, just so people know who you are and things like that. So uh, you do uh, mainly RAM videos, as I said before. Um, I think that's where your best uh, kind of content is. Um, so, w- what do you want to say about your channel? What would you tell someone who didn't know anything about your channel? It's shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, not not to expect consistent content, which is exactly the same week in week out. I I think I can. I think that's probably a decent enough thing. If I upload, it's generally okay. Like I'm I'm quite tough on myself when it comes to videos. Like a like I can't watch like even one of my old videos. I look at it. I look at them now. I'm sort of like, that's a terrible video. Why the <laughs> fuck have I still got that uploaded? <laughs> um. So you said you've been doing YouTube around two years, right? Yeah. Started off um really late 2014. Well, I ha- I've had channels before that, but this channel I started off really late 2014. Um, started off with FIFA career modes just because. It was just one of those things that I thought, yeah, I've. It, it's just one of those creative things at the time where I, where I just thought I've got something to give into this. I decided to start off with, oh, what was it? Whole City. Whole City career mode. And despite what my channel's like now, which it, it may be hard to believe that I actually uploaded about 40 days in a row yeah. and wow. got just motoring through seasons. Wow. And I've never shown that kind of commitment ever since <laughs> <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> um, you'd, if I would like compare you to a bigger YouTuber, um, sort of like the, the style of your uploads and things like that, and uh, the frequency and the, the way you do it, it would be similar to uh, Colossal is Crazy. You know that dude? Yeah, I'm a big fan of him. Yeah, so it's you kind I, of similar. I'm actually, re- I'm really happy that you've compared me to him because I really do enjoy his videos and I do take him as an inspiration. Well, there we go then. He doesn't like, like you said, he doesn't upload like very regularly. But what he does upload is, you know, good quality content, well thought out, a lot of preparation put into him. And I feel like your sort of stuff is the same. Um, sort of, you know, the way you do it is sort of the same as him. Um, that's the way that I would explain the channel to be. Um, Last week we talked a little bit about clickbaiting and shout outs. Um, I don't really want to go over that again because I feel like it would just be sort of, you know, recycling the content. And... Or we can go for a little bit because nah, obviously it's then... boring. Move on. It's boring. Move on. We've, we've, we've both we've both delved into that a little bit. Um, yeah. Well, you you recently and me, God, it's almost a fucking year ago now since I since I first had a crack at it. Yeah, so I did the video recently about um, calling out shout out live streams. Um, and the funny thing enough is, some people actually commented and uh, have recently commented since the podcast saying, Can you include me in your shout out series? And I was just like, Just go back and watch the video, like fully, um, not just the intro. Um, because obviously there was no shout outs and people were still, even on my channel today, thinking that they was going to get a shout out despite the video just being me uh, ripping into shout out streams um, and things like that. Um, you did videos back. Funnily enough, I've, I've had. I've I've had a similar thing where I did the shout out corner of thing and I yeah. comments, but I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure it's not people watching and it's just like comment bots. So they like someone can go onto a website, set up a comment bot and that that's how people like are able to spam comments loads. Yeah. So my it could have just been something like that. Although with yours I think it's probably some person getting mixed up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've seen the guy, well, the two guys who commented about it um, on the channel before. So I don't think they're just randoms who have come in, but I think they're just guys who would appreciate a shout out from a larger channel. And when they see this, just get excited and type, can I have a shout out or can you include me in the shout out series? Um, and obviously they didn't watch the video. Um, so <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of... Well, a... What do you expect? 
<laughs> you expect them to watch the video? Yeah, yeah, I mean... <laughs> what? Come, come on, I? you're you're expecting too much there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, my uh-huh. th- the thumbnail... Ali, shut up, dude. The thumbnail was <laughs> shout-outs, the title it was, was shout-outs. It was so. just complete bait, and I fucking loved it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, should we move, out, move on from that and get into a fresh topic? Yeah, please. Um... Yeah. Do you want to start with sports or keep sports. on the track with my recent videos? Sports. No one cares about it. I think recent videos. Okay, yeah. his oh. name, he's just changed his name to the Fuhrer in the chat here on Discord. So, <laughs> no, yeah. At least being a dick in the Discord chat and typing shit when he uh, when he doesn't get to say anything for a while, gets frustrated. Like, why am I not the center of attention? So he starts typing shit. He just can't have the. Why can I put in a word or two? <laughs> so um, racism. Anyway, uh, on with my recent videos and uh, on. Frank invasion. Yeah, oh. that's the one. The Monday 1, video. Views. Yeah, it got a thousand views as I was uh-huh. recording, and I never expected it to do that well. The reason why I did the video is because someone asked me last week about can you do uh, like a reaction because I did one on on Derv and uh, <laughs> and they said do one on Prank Invasion and I'd never watched any of the videos I went over and he recently uploaded this video, the Muslim edition of him kissing girls. So I've I got notifications on for him. Really? You yeah, I really enjoy his videos. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. You <laughs> anyway. actually have an IQ of minus 46. <laughs> so, wow. I did the Excuse video, me. I uploaded it, it did really well, and <laughs> it the whole topic sort of became a thing. I've seen other people doing videos on him offending Muslims, and like I said, I just did it as a reaction, and it turned out pretty well, um, and people sort of found the channel through that. Um, so, what, Ali, I'm going to come to you first. Whoa. Yeah, prepare yourself. Yeah. So, uh, I'm guessing you watched the video if you've got Yeah, I watched that. I really enjoyed it. You really enjoyed it. <laughs> so what was your true feelings about the whole the whole video? About what? His one. His video, yeah, yeah. Uh the... I swear to God if you girls. just I swear to God if you say the word banter. <laughs> <laughs> banter. Haha. <laughs> uh, it was a bit stupid. Uh, the the one with the the one that said I I'm a Muslim I'm not allowed to have a boyfriend. Did did you? Yeah. That was so stupid. And then the next one, after that one, cut. Was like I have a boyfriend. I can't kiss you. Yeah, and then she kissed him uh, anyway. It, exactly. <laughs> stupid stupidity. Um, but I still enjoyed it. Very good. It, it's not stupidity though. It's just the script. Yeah. Did you did what? you get offended by it though, Ali? Did it offend you anyway? What what he was doing in the video? Am I a Muslim? Yeah. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, dude. No. Yeah, but it's the, the <laughs> thing about it is. Oh like, my god, one point two k views! Pe- wow. The people who are gonna get most offended by this, and the people who it's aimed to really offend, is white people, isn't it? it, it it's is just it? that sort of thing where it's like almost race baity. Yeah, I guess Where? so, but a lot of the comments on my video were from users um, who were, like, the, their names would say that they were Muslim and they oh, said yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not saying it's, I'm not saying it's, like, not offensive what at all. His name was Ahmed. <laughs> you know I'm what not, I mean, though, not, dude. I get what you're saying, yeah, but, I mean, it's made by a white guy and he's going around kissing an Iranian Excuse me, mass. he's half Persian. <laughs> Are you sure? As of, as of this video, yeah. <laughs> I mean, since that, he's no mention. But after this video, he's mentioned that he is half Persian. Um, which yeah. makes it fine for him to go around kissing uh, Muslim women. Oh, yeah, it's completely fine now. Um, <laughs> but he's done a, a load of these videos in the past where he goes around kissing people. Um, he didn't have to make this about religion um, at all. Um, but he decided to do it that way. I think he knew it was going to spark a little bit of controversy. Maybe because his channel isn't doing as well. Like I said, I don't know. I haven't really, you know, seen any of his growth lately or how his view view is doing. But um, I'm guessing his channel isn't doing that well. So he tried to spark some controversy. What are you laughing at, Ali? One of your comments that says when I when I when I read kiss and Muslim girls, I expected him to kiss goats. I read that as well, and I found that kind of more offensive than the actual video itself. I mean, come on, dude. That was hilarious. That's hilarious. I almost deleted that comment. I almost oh, deleted that comment. Oh, you, you can't, you can't be deleting comments, man. 
I can and I do just because. Because <laughs> <laughs> you want to, you want to get a stranglehold on your audience. Yeah, exactly. You're no, you're no better than Dev. <laughs> <laughs> so um also yeah. also everyone wants to know this is the pgh reaction coming um is the pgh reaction coming yeah yeah it's going on my second channel <laughs> <laughs> which i'm creating really? tonight just a special called uh jank reacts um to pgh that's going to be the channel name the video name wow and everything yeah it's going to be huge uh, probably get about two views excuse S- me i've got a fan base yeah <laughs> dude yeah, of two. <laughs> 500 strong almost. Anyway, um, yeah. so that's the whole prank evasion thing. Um, yeah. I mean, just one last thing on it. It's sort of... Yeah, I mean, you say, you say the channel's not doing very well, but it in reality, it's doing really well. Because, I mean, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't upload often, but it's like one of those things where it, he's, he's uploading things purposely to cause controversy. Like, he's kind of got his niche sorted like the kissing pranks so i guess you can credit him for that i mean it's a shit tactic but someone's eventually gonna do it so the fact that he did it first is almost commendable but yeah and before it's still people... a shitty still a shit channel but i mean <laughs> someone there's obviously an audience for it because i mean you know 13 year old kids who are exactly. nervous to go on pornhub have got to find their material somewhere exactly um ali's com- <laughs> ali's saying he's an invader which means he is uh he is one of the uh space invaders what, what's his is that his call invaders i don't fucking know but nice anyway um yeah i mean like you said his target audience is probably horny teenagers who uh for some reason want to see him kissing girls um, exactly that's me that's, Bro, that's Ali all over yeah. outside, the, the <laughs> no, i'm girl. joking i'm a i'm a changed man since germany i don't do this stuff anymore for god's sake dude <laughs> Ali's yeah. Ali's rampant sex trip around Germany <laughs> <laughs> didn't quite end that way, but I'm sure Ali was yeah. there too. But <laughs> yeah, I did. So <laughs> let's move on anyway. Let's move on. Um, some more invasions from prank invasion to pitch invasion. Um, Senegal versus Ivory Coast uh, was a friendly match being played in Paris, and These uh, African countries. It was one-one going into the final few minutes of the game, and uh, you know both teams were going for it. All of a sudden. Massive pitch invasion. Everybody just started running on the field. Um, rugby tackling players. Uh, the players decided to quickly run off. The thing is, the tunnel wasn't where a tunnel would normally be in this stadium. It was sort of like, you know, Manchester United's in the corner. It was sort yeah. of like that. Oh, but yeah. then also, it was across a running track. So it wasn't like they could... They had to, like, pull out this big, long tunnel. They, you know, they like had to do a 100-meter sprint before they could get off. <laughs> basically yes <laughs> which was, was difficult with the rugby tackle and fans <laughs> there was just fucking chaos dude and there was like hundreds of people and i'm sure it started off with just a you know a few people but it was just like two minutes from the end like they could run on the pitch at the end just let the game finish first uh, but they decided it was just going to run on um <laughs> and two minutes the game got abandoned in the end it was just a friendly it wasn't like anything um you know serious about it uh so what's this <laughs> Why are you giving me random pictures? Okay, so so so. Dude, very unprofessional. Concentrate, man. Concentrate. Okay, you just okay, randomly sorry. start laughing to yourself in the middle of my sentences, and I'm like, "Why is he laughing well, at this now?" Post a fucking shit meme in the chat. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, Ali. Just stop the shit, man. Listen. <laughs> okay, sorry. concentrate. Okay. okay. ADAD, right? Anyway, fucking ADAD. Hmm. What? what was I saying? Uh, pitch, pitch uh, invasion. Yeah, tunnel. In yeah, the so. Almost oh. at the end. Oh shit! It was thunder. I'm sorry. Now I'm getting off track. It's raining. It's thunder and lightning outside. Oh, Fuck fucking love a good thunderstorm. Um, so I love podcasts. Really. So um, yeah, they ran on the pitch. They rugby tackled some people. Wow. Sadio Mane was there. Um, Idrissi Gueye. Uh, some guy who plays in Turkey got rugby tackled. He was the guy who actually got taken down. Um, which was you know. A really oh, the the, the defender. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he plays that. it like Al- Al- or something like that. Um, Antalya. And... Alanya Spor, Alanya Spor, Alanya. Yeah, okay, whatever. And he got tackled. Oh, he got tackled. You should be grateful that there's someone in your podcast that can pronounce names. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for You're pronouncing welcome. names. Any day, any thank day. Thank you, Fura. <laughs> no problem. My children. <laughs> mein Kinder. For God's sake, dude. Ich liebe Deutschland. 
Okay, okay we can continue uh, before So the game, races. the game was in Paris. The game was in Paris between uh, the Senegal and Ivory Coast. I really don't know what else I can say about this. Uh, I guess if you one of you wanted to jump in and give your opinion on it, um, absolutely terrible. Have you ever been to a game where anyone's ran on the pitch? No. Yeah. <laughs> you actually have. There, yeah, there was a run of uh, Newcastle games um, when we won yeah. the Europa League, like what, about four years ago now. Of um, there was a... <laughs> in every single Europa League match, either, it was either the same guy or just a, <laughs> just a random group of guys would literally streak onto the pitch, like getting to the point where it was so bad that <laughs> we were like threatened to getting banned from the tournament because wow. of it. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. I haven't heard of that. That's pretty It's recent. a fucking brilliant story. <laughs> I don't understand why we keep on getting Newcastle fans on the podcast. I've had enough. Yeah, we're getting yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Can we fuck off, Newcastle fans? <laughs> yeah, please. That's all we know. The only people I know are Newcastle fans. Um, I'll get I'll get you some Man United fans. Don't no, worry. That would be great. You better let them come in there. Let's go you back to them. Pitch Invasions. Like, back in the day, Pitch Invasions used to just be like, one guy completely naked running onto the pitch and they used to put them on tv um and then eventually they started like taking them off tv before that like it wouldn't just be football games like it'd be cricket and some random woman would just come on and start jumping over the wickets like just i don't even know why they was doing it it was just maybe they was drunk something like that i don't know so uh, there's nothing there's nothing that quite matches a good old-fashioned streaking pitch invasion though you don't get enough of them these days exactly we're, exactly. we're losing it part of our culture part of our culture <laughs> um, <laughs> we need more naked pitch invaders none of this fucking you know fully clothed rugby tackling none people of it, none of this fucking snapchat and play shit yeah, we need I, the full-on streakers back people are just doing it for social media posts now like here's me between the goalposts with the goalkeeper taking photos now you need to be fully naked uh, running on the pitch and uh, the selfless act of just taking one's clothes off <laughs> and running onto a pitch just can't be matched just imagine on Sunday league game, just random Sunday league game, and a guy just runs on fully naked. Oh, expect <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Um, maybe I'll do that for a YouTube video, not fully naked, but... Uh, nah, man, it's got to be fully naked. Got to be fully naked. Uh, no, like one of them, like, uh, thong, uh, oh, no, just like no. an animal sock. To, uh, nah, because because there's plenty of people who do that. Like, if you ever... Wa- oh, well, I doubt you have, but if you ever watch any, like, cycling races... No. Well, you always, you always get people at the side of the road wearing them Borat thongs. Drunk or it's just like, random? Could be either. Could be mentally unstable. I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's just kind of difficult to look at. But yet you can't turn away. <laughs> just spotting them in the audience as they ride past. Oh, there's one. There's a naked guy. Um, <laughs> getting all nostalgic about naked people on the football pitches. Never thought that would be a thing that happened on the podcast. Um, <laughs> a remembrance of the time long past <laughs> yeah. back when it was innocent um, oh man now, now you just can't get away with it <laughs> <laughs> yeah when you do it you get banned from stadiums for life I can't on the pitch. But back in the day you could just run on take back, back the crowd, in the day you got rewarded for it <laughs> yeah not with uh, followers on twitter either um, <laughs> Ali I-, I begged you to get some topics please tell me you've got one Oh uh, yeah, um, um, yeah, I haven't got one. No, okay, I've got another one. Um, I've, I've got, I've got one in the chat. To be fair, the first okay. thing is, is about a parent. We could talk about healthy eating. Healthy oh, eating. My well, God. I've recently yeah, started fucking... healthy eating, just because I've been at the gym and I don't want that to go to waste. Um, what's this? Alexander Blackman could be free in weeks after Santa's shooting. Fucking cold McDonald's and smart exactly. lunch. Ter- terrible parents. <laughs> you sent- What's this? I, I clicked the other link that you sent about the. Uh, the now, guy. have you. If, talking about McDonald's, have you ever seen the. If, I'm sure you've. Well, it's been, on, it's been on Facebook, but there's this video of a guy going to McDonald's. And you know what the self service machines, how you can edit your order? Yeah. Yeah. And he and he got, just got cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just ordered cheese. Yeah. Just yeah. Ordered he cheese. ordered like a cheeseburger and then just got rid of everything apart from the cheese. Did they give yeah. it to him? Yeah. yeah they did. they, they just gave him a packet of cheese. And, and and he was like, I ordered the cheeseburger with only the cheese. I don't know what I expected, and with just the cheese in box. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, it's brilliant. 
So any thoughts on this parents? Look, um, I haven't it. read the whole fucking thing yet because I was listening. Um, it's fucking banter, that's what it is. So, Bat Ali, Ali sum it up legend. for the, uh, the people who aren't looking at the article. Oh, basically it's just a parent uh, who gives not even proper food, just McDonald's or just sweets, chocolates for packed lunch at a primary school. And this is not healthy for a child to be eating at that age. Oh, wow. And so the uh, the school has just been like absolutely embarrassing the parents for this. So did the school like open the lunchbox and are, are they the actual photos? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They are. They've, so they've actually yeah. like the school have intervened, seen this guy or kid or whatever just sat eating yeah. chips and a burger and thought, you know what, that's not a, if this happens again, let's take photos of it to keep as evidence. And uh, I don't know though because the the lunchbox has still got the tape on the fucking bag. It kind of screams brand new to me but i don't know i don't know how people uh rock the lunch boxes anymore at primary school but apparently that might be i mean right. the thing is if if you if you're giving your kid cold mcdonald's in the morning i mean that means since, since you can't buy like mcdonald's like before was, oh <laughs> hi jenks kid get out <laughs> get out of here I'm recording a podcast. Talking about McDonald's and she comes oh, in fucking asking for a banana and orange. God damn. Wow, you've, you've got a good kid on your hand. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, a bit now, like, UFC. it's crazy that someone would put, like, who would even think to put fast food shit in a lunchbox? Exactly. That's just a random yeah, thing to do. What, what I was going to say was, if they if that's being served cold and they're giving it to their kid in the morning, like, at McDonald's, like, they don't serve, like, the proper meals until sometime, like, yeah, half ten. Nine hours. Yeah, yeah, then. Um, so that means they've gone the night before and bought the McDonald's, which means there's a good yeah, chance exactly. that the kids also had McDonald's for tea. <laughs> 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 wow, that's that's a thought. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Terrible parent. Either that or they, like, they don't give them the lunchbox in the morning. They just go to school at, like, 11 o'clock and uh, drop off the lunchbox. <laughs> like, here's the lunch, don't look inside. And then just fucking walk off like a secret <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, once again, I hate you. <laughs> um, oh, man. My... I mean, what was you saying? Some kids, that would be, like, the absolute dream to be getting McDonald's every single day. But, yeah. I mean... I mean, I can understand at the moment to an extent since I've got the McDonald's Monopoly on, but during the rest of the year, that's just no fun. I guess, <laughs> um, especially when it's not even a Happy Meal. You don't even get a toy. It's just a burger and the chips. Oh, no. They didn't even put the toy in. Come on, parents. Yeah, boy. Um, <laughs> the Happy I... Meal is also much more price effective. Come on, guys. Yeah, it comes in a lunchbox. I mean, you don't even need one. <laughs> just rack up with a Happy Meal box. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, should we? Uh, I, sh I think we should move on to my second topic, which is controversial. And it w I wouldn't be Ali if I didn't come up with controversial topics to discuss with I. So, yeah. so okay, explain it again for the people who aren't looking at the article. Uh, it's a uh, marine. His name is Alex Ryan Alexander Blackman. He killed the injured Taliban, and he was sentenced for seven years in prison and he served his free year and now he's going to be he's going to be free within weeks so i've heard about the story this week but i haven't looked into it um he shot an injured taliban fighter um, yeah and where did he like where was the court where did he get like sentenced uh britain england so he come back and how did they know he'd killed the taliban fighter he just said by the way i've just killed one like let me see. I've been some like higher, higher officer probably who's turned. Yeah, in. exactly. Yeah. So why is it because it's not an official war? Why wasn't he allowed to kill him? I don't understand. Because there have been the, the, the there's a set of rules thing. that you have to follow during wartime, and you're not allowed to injure someone, get injured, kill someone that's injured who's not in their ability to fight you, because that's unfair. Okay, what was his story? Was he like, did he ever say like the guy was reaching for something so I had to shoot him or do we know he this? Doesn't really... Oh, apparently he was uh, suffering abnormality of mental function. The guy who shot him? Yeah. Right. Um, maybe that was just the way of trying to get reduced sentence, maybe. Like just, you know, explaining to the court that he is uh, he's mentally unstable. 
can you give him a lesser sentence? Maybe that's what it was. Like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was weird that he got, you know, sent to, uh, sent to prison for shooting someone. But if you say there is the whole laws that you have well, to follow when you're out there. Codes and that. When you sign up for the army, you've got to follow the rules. Yeah. Be it, be it if you like them or not. And obviously it's a, it's a dangerous thing to be doing out there in uh, Afghanistan or Iraq, whatever. Um, I've, I've, I've had family serving in Iraq and Afghanistan and you know, it's a, it's just a world away from what like we experience here. Yeah. And may, maybe, maybe the rules perhaps need to be looked at again, cause the Taliban are a different just world from, you know, like fighting an, fighting an army or something. Yeah, but still, it's just still the same thing. I suppose, I suppose. It's, it's still a human you're fighting against. It is. But if I'm completely honest, he shouldn't be sentenced for prison. Yeah, I, it's it's a it's they a hard one to judge. Um, yeah, exactly. That's the reason why I picked the controversy. You, you, like you put yourself in his shoes. Would you shoot that guy as well? Like you don't know what no, he's been through, what he's seen. Chance. Yeah, I guess so. But like, you, there's a lot of videos out there of, you know, terrorist organizations that are just, you know, shooting people with rocket launchers, like just randomly, yeah. like tying them up, no defense against the pole, and just blasting them with a rocket launcher. Um, if you've but seen I... this and you're just thinking that like that kind of thing when you're there and you're like, this is my chance to get fucking payback right now. And this guy's, you know, he might die anyway. He's he's injured. We don't. What was his injury? Do you know what his injury was? Um, I'm guessing a gunshot, but I, I really don't know. He, he might have just thinking, you know what, he's on the way out. I might be able to get away with this one. And double tapped him. I, I don't know. I don't know the story. I haven't looked into it, but it's a difficult one to just, you know, have a few facts and trying to judge exactly what happened. Um, it would probably take a few hours of digging into uh, or trying to dig into what actually went down in the room, yeah, wherever I, they was. It's a, it's a difficult thing to kind of make a judgment on when you know like this is the first time i've ever read this so i yeah, don't want to say something and just get a fact completely wrong and yeah. then because it's it's a very kind of polarizing subject and to give and to say oh we deserve to be prisoned or whatever when i don't know all the facts is it's a bit risky and yeah just did, uh, uh, did the guy know that he was a, a Taliban soldier, like, or was he just like this is again a thing I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, it was just a, he was just a racist, then it was like I've got I've got to kill this Muslim, so I just killed the Muslim. Is that something you're making up? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. That sounds like something <laughs> you would make up on the spot just to try and throw me off the scent of what was actually happening. Um, I guess <laughs> obviously, the, you you obviously know who you're fighting against, don't you? So he probably did know it was the Taliban. So. Yeah. Yeah, if they're in like, uh, they know that like, if there was in a building where they know that the Taliban like, or whatever was going on, the operations from this space, like again, I haven't read, I don't know where that was or what was happening, but if, you know, that's the thing, then obviously he would have known that he was a, a Taliban member. But if it was like, in a town and they was just he was just there when there was like a battle going on or whatever it was happening, and he was yeah. just in a building finds a guy injured, um, <laughs> he could, he could have easily have been a civilian. But again, I don't know this. So. For all we know, this could just be a cover-up. Maybe it was a civilian. Yeah. And they just covered it up with a Taliban fire, so he doesn't get in more trouble. Possibly. Possibly. But then they could just cover the whole thing up and just, like, not even tell us. Like, how would we know if it had done that and nobody said anything out so, of so his It's, it's propaganda. It's propaganda. This, so this it makes us look is human. brought to you by Ali's tinfoil hat, protecting, <laughs> protecting <laughs> you from chemtrails for, like, six months. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they are trying to control you. Don't start with conspiracy theories. We talked about the whole uh, 9-11 truther thing, and I was very into it. Yeah. And We talked about that a little bit on the podcast before. Um, I guess one day we'll go back to conspiracies, but I hate yeah. to get into them without doing my research. Um, oh, I love myself a good conspiracy theory. We'll get you back yeah, on, too. Matty, in the future. Obviously, this is Get me end. back on just for, an, just for a podcast podcast totally dedicated to conspiracy exactly theory. we'll all dig up our favorite conspiracies we'll all come back together and just uh talk about them and explain and i think it'll be a pretty funny podcast um yeah but we'll have to do that in the future anyway next topic that i've got um if we want to move on if that's the end of that 
Yeah, um, let's me and my my missus were talking um, the other day, and uh, she brought brought up this um, question to me, and she asked, "Where would you rather be um, stuck under the sea in like a submarine um, or out in space, just floating? Like you're stuck there forever. This is uh, this is your you know your whole future. You're either going to be stuck under the sea or you're going to be out in space." Um, so where would you which which would you wait, rather so, be? Wait 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 wait. So, wait. Uh, the submarine, yeah, it's got living space. Yeah, um, it's it's got food. Yeah, it's got plants which you can grow food from. Um, no. Um, so no. you didn't think this well deep enough, you know? I no, no, it's just so the, fa- the fact is, is you want like if it, in either of these situations there's no chance of you getting back so you yeah. just want to find the quickest way to die so you'd want to go in space <laughs> is that your answer yes <laughs> nah uh, you see maybe i'm still young just, so i think differently i'll say submarine okay. there's absolutely no chance of survival here yeah you're so gonna you die either way. for a really but, long painful death or if you're in space you just open up your helmet and you're dead in about 15 seconds Right. Um, do you, no, I, no. I'm going to give you. Hold on. I'm going to give you my missus' answer and then my answer. My missus' answer right. was submarine, um, under the sea, because then she's on her home planet and at least she gets to die here on Earth. That was her thing. Um, yeah. My thing was space. She's smart. Um, mainly because like the most nerve-wracking thing if you're in this submarine. And uh, all of a sudden, something swims across the like the window that you see out of. Because I'm imagining, you know, you ever seen like the um, yellow deep uh, deep sea diving tanks? You ever seen them? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and they've got like the big glass window that you can see out of. I just imagine something swimming across, like this huge <laughs> thing swim across, and then for the next like however long, you're just shitting yourself. Like, what the fuck was that? Is it going to come back and start attacking I've, me? I've got a, I've got a way for you to shit yourself. Type into Google the colossal squid. You'll honestly have nightmares. I've, <laughs> I would. I don't even want to search it. But no, in, you have to. <laughs> in space, like you, there's nothing else. Like you might get hit by an asteroid, but that's immediate death. Um, or like you said, if you want to just kill yourself straight away, you can just sort of get out and take your helmet off. And you see, that's not a win-win because God doesn't like uh, people who commit suicide. Yeah. Okay. Um, if so you're a religious person, of course. I have no yeah, religious. Really. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever. I'm perfectly fine with taking myself out. That's not even scary. This ain't scary. So, well, it is, it is a bit scary. I mean, you've got what the big. You've one. probably got time to be able to. Con- I mean, you've got time to consider about what happens after death, and that's a whole different subject. Like, we we could we, actually, what what do you reckon happens after death? I don't. If we're going into like a massively. Let, let's not go in that rabbit moment. hole. Let's not go. Yeah, in that I just want to, <laughs> we can go there later. I just want to drag it back quickly to where we was, All right. um, yeah, yeah. and back to the sea space hole debate. Um, yeah. So I think the I saw a thing that was like eight to five percent of the sea hasn't been explored yet, um, and it's obviously I think it's like eleven kilometers deep. If I'm right in saying that, I don't know. Yeah. It's sort of a yeah, 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 right. I think you are. Yeah. So. There is a potential yeah. for a huge fucking thing that we haven't found yet to be in the sea. Um, and this is something that I said to Mrs. when I was explaining, like, if something swam past, how would you feel? And I said, like, there could be something down there. And then I thought, well, there's a lot of, like, the, the deeper down you go, the more pressure, like, water pressure there will be. So maybe things aren't able to grow that big down there. Um, I don't know the science no, it's, behind it's, that. It's totally, it's totally the opposite. <laughs> it's the opposite? Stuff just grows and- Stuff grows how? Like massively. How? I'm not a biologist, but it just does. Because the thing that. that I've seen from like the deep sea like diving things, there's a lot of like really tiny like dust fragment creatures that are down there, and then there's like every once in a while there'll be one of them things with a light on its head. Um, yeah. Oh, things like that that are kind of scary as shit. Yeah, just imagine one of them just swimming. How the old are you? What? what? That's not even scary. It's just got a light and it's just got sharp teeth. You're not scary about that. Teeth. Like, imagine, nah, but you're in a submarine. It's of being, nothing nah, but <laughs> if if that was just swimming around in an, in the sea, like around you on a dark night, you just see the little blight, like the little faint light under the water. You see, since I'm a change, 
You see, since I'm a changed man since Germany, I always see that light as a little hope. <laughs> why do you bring everything back to Germany? It down below the waves. <laughs> I still um, see that. So, do I get to be with her at the? Yeah, yeah. You can take one out. person, and yeah, uh, right. now I'm gonna take her to the. I'm too nice. You're taking the Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just opening the fucking hatch like we're gonna die now you <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> you're coming down <laughs> with me you motherfucker oh he's done his date at his girlfriend but you fucking hate but there's enough <laughs> oxygen for us to survive for two years and the motors are still working <laughs> no not now anyway no, um, this is the time <laughs> let me again let me pull it back in so yep. i again i've seen a planet out there that's a fully like water planet and its oceans are 100 over, I think it's over 100 kilometers deep, whereas they're only 11 kilometers deep. Um, and then the further down you go, the water starts to turn into sort of like an ice sort of thing, but it's not cold because of it's like the pressure is starting to... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but then just... like, if that's how deep the water is there and you've seen like, you know, blue whales on our planet, what's the potential for something to possibly grow in, you know, and what size could it get to in waters that deep on a planet that big, the planet's bigger than ours as well so this, you know something crazy could be growing in there um to, to answer your question like just ginormous because you've got a whole like you've got a whole ecosystem just stuck below the water so like you'll get some really highly like specialized like creatures living there and yeah. it'll just be like yeah you'll you know what the food chain's like everything just gets bigger as you go higher up and the evolution so you get like a hundred foot long well. shark in that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so where would you evolution rather be? Bullshit. Where would you rather be in like tr teleported to that ocean, um, or licking Jimmy Savile's arsehole when he was in his prime? Oh, <laughs> nah, <laughs> take me to that ocean. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with you, dude. I'm coming with you. <laughs> I don't know where I that come from. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ali's... <laughs> Ali left the call. Who's like, Jim Savage also? I'm done. Fuck it. <laughs> um... Trying to run away from the question, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His immediate thought was Jimmy Savile. He was like, oh, shit, you guys are not saying that? I'm done. <laughs> um, I don't know where that come from. It actually was. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 10 seconds of fun. I'm fucking game. <laughs> Wow. I um, cannot imagine anything worse. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's the whole topics that I had for the show. Um, is there anything you wanted to expand on um, we go over that we've spoke about? Is something new that you can think of, possibly? No. Death and existentialism. <laughs> Ali, stop leaving the court. What did you say? Death and existentialism. Oh, what happens after death? Oh, yeah, we're going to go back there. So, yeah, let's go Ali, there. what's your belief? Oh, my belief. Um, Don't research bullshit. it. Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing? You think nothing yeah. happens? You're just dead? Yeah. I, or, 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 or. Yeah, I, there's actually no possibility of you dying. You don't actually die. You, your body just slowly decays. So you go into this soul type dimension, parallel universe, whatever you want to say. Quantum physics. That's what I say. That's oh, what I, say. I know what you mean. I've... Um... Yeah. I've also read that. I mean, to be fair, I was linked to it on Facebook, which means that the, credible. That the, it's not an exactly credible source, but <laughs> that, that's actually the reason I want to bring it up because it's like um, apparently someone's written an article or written a report or whatever scientists do um, saying that they think, they think that um, quantum physics or quantum mechanics, whatever, um, allows for consciousness to live on after you die. Yeah, I really like that. I, I love that, quantum physics. And that apparently, so, like, when you die, your your consciousness gets put in, could get put into a uh, into another version of you in a parallel universe. Yeah. Right. Where? What? I don't get this. Don't yeah, so this, 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 this theory relies to understand. on... Yeah, it relies on quantum mechanics being true, the existence of parallel universes and consciousness being something that can be measured. You see, so there's what, a lot of factors in it. <laughs> what is time? What is time? <laughs> you sound like the start of a Vsauce video. <laughs> what exactly. <laughs> what, what is, you see? Hey, Ali, Vsauce here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fucking hell, man. Um, anyway, my belief <laughs> is like, similar to what like, Ali said. I think nothing. Um, I think it's similar to like before he was born. Um, that, yeah, yeah exactly. that's that's all you've got to go with, really, isn't it? I would like I would like to believe that there is a heaven. Um, and your soul I, I would like a special to believe... place where all of your loved ones are and things like that. I would like that to be true. Um, but I just can I add something? Go for it. I would I would like to believe that too. But how the heck is so many people meant to fit in heaven? How big is heaven? Yeah, um, heaven's got an overcrowding problem. At exa- the moment. Exactly. You're gonna be with the apes. <laughs> You're gonna be with your ten times great great exactly. grandmother. Like, okay. who you have no idea just... who she is. Here's the thing that I'm gonna say, um, and this this is completely like off the top of my head and made up by me, and yeah, sure. It's talking about uh-huh. heaven, so don't take it too seriously. Yeah, sure. You are in heaven for as long as you're remembered on earth. So as soon as everyone has forgot about you, your soul disintegrates. You're gone. But as oh. long as there's people on earth who like remember you, you're still there. So famous people from the past are still up there. Your family members are still up there, and things like that. Um, but as soon That's as bullshit. everyone on earth, it, it, you can say it's bullshit. It's just you know a thought that I've had. Then um, that brings in a problem though of what if you're forgotten about, okay? But then what if someone decides to look back through the past and decide and finds you? Exactly. So then, Would so you come back you, into so existence? Then yeah. So you die and then come back into existence in heaven. Okay, you go into then a holding cell will... until you go into a holding cell until all of your <laughs> you go into heaven. written about you. You go uh, to heaven's true. heaven, and then you wait there until you're remembered again. Here's how to guarantee life: 100 percent is write your name on a piece of paper, bury it in the earth, and then just hope that it never gets destroyed, and you'll be up there. Forever. And then give instructions to your five times great grandson to go dig up your letter. The thing is, yeah. nothing. It's going to stay here forever. Nothing exists forever. The concept of something existing forever doesn't go. Our minds will never accept that. You see, yeah, it's a, it's a, the whole human condition is like exactly. It's just a paradox, me. and you're never going to yeah. get an answer. That's what makes you scared. You're not scared of anything, but the the, the best answer, thing to get the, the around questions which don't have an answer to. Yeah, exactly. It's impossible to get an act. Exactly. I mean, that's what fear is: the, not having an answer to. The only people we've got who are who you could reference is people who have died and then obviously have come back to life and have been like resuscitated or whatever. But the things that they've said are really kind of contradictory. Like some have said they've exactly. experienced nothing at all. Some have said they've experienced like out of body experiences. So. And some says know. Jesus told me to hold my toes. Yeah. But you don't know if that's whether you're hallucinating while you're starting to come back into it or once you've just gone out of it. Probably just depends on how you die, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, my dad died and then he was resuscitated and he never said anything about it um, before he did eventually pass. He never actually mentioned if anything did happen or he saw anything. So if something did happen, surely he would have mentioned. If you know what I mean. Well, it's... It's obviously a bit. I think it's you know with someone dying and then being resuscitated. I can't. It can be a bit of a traumatic experience. So I can, I can potentially see why I didn't really want to talk about it. Yeah. Um, well, all I'm going to say is we all must convert to the path of Islam and follow <laughs> Allah. <laughs> For sake, man. Um, hey, let me just throw up another theory, right? Um, yeah. I sure. saw this again in a YouTube experience. video. Um, and it was uh, the fact that there's the chance that we're a simulation, because oh yeah, I'll watch that as well. It's it's talking about if if there was no gods, the possibility yeah. of us existing would be like uh, like basically nothing. And then if a god existed, it will be a higher chance of us existing. But if yeah. there was multiple gods, we would have a higher chance of existing. But if it was a simulation. We would have the highest chance of existing. Yeah, because we're. It was from ASAP Science. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and uh, I never that... think. <laughs> they said that the, we're already creating sort of artificial life in ourselves. So. The, exactly. Well, then the whole thing to... about that is, is then because I've I've heard that theory is then trying to find ways to almost break the simulation. So that would mean like either leaving like the map or whatever. Or even go into a point where you break the code. <laughs> Killing yourself is the only way to pause. Um, 
Apart from Whoa, that. yo, 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 <laughs> I don't recommend two it. Two you just ruined the sport once you die. That's the whole. <laughs> That's what happens. Two million years into the future, that new YouTube video, leaving them up. <laughs> <laughs> How to I them up. the map. <laughs> IRL. Yeah. Nah, because then you get a proper clickbaity title as well, and they're being arrow pointed towards, like, how to exit the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what about the thing that we talked about before, Ali, where I said that how do we know that the the whole like universe hasn't just started now like right now at this point and everything that's ever happened is just been implanted into your memory and you know it you know now the concept of memory in itself it's, how do we know that it's, it's a not all... the concept that, of memory makes... it's just complicated in itself to be fair because memories we actually don't store memories it's just little uh, patterns which we just keep in our neurons which makes us remember stuff that's the reason why we don't really remember when we were a baby because the patterns don't really correlate anymore to us we don't I, really remember I think it. I think you can disprove that just because you can vividly remember touching things and but how do you know that hasn't really planted do... into your brain exactly because I, I remember that I was oh god this is no, I guess you could, the only way you can prove it is by saying that me doing something now yeah. means that it's not a memory and it's in the present and therefore in the past there was also a time where it was the present and I did something. But no, but how do you know that that wasn't just implanted into your brain as well? The, well, I don't. That you thought, that's, exactly. That's the only way. No, 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 no. I'm going to blow that, your that's mind right proof now. You can have. It's not perfect, but it's the only way you can kind of think about it. I'm going to blow your minds right now. How okay. do you know that the person, when you were a baby, that was you? Because we don't really remember when we were a baby. No, it's just because babies don't have the... Excuse me, shut up, don't throw my mum. It's already proven babies don't have any... Wow, you just ruined my life. Sorry, I'm just... Thank just you. trying to... Do you, do you just try to balance um, out the theories here. Um. Oh, what was I going to say? See, you ruined my life. Continue. What? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know that, that? How do you know that that wasn't just a memory that's just been implanted, and you never actually had said that? And the world yeah, mate. Now, what if your name I wasn't mate? It's was just been implanted now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God's sake, man! Uh, it, it, um, it because I guess I guess I can also say it because there's been times in my life where I've had to have make a decision, and the fact that I've made decisions uh, on my point where I where if someone if someone had just copied my brain, they wouldn't have put into the and just like put in memories, they wouldn't have put in put, like places where I had to make a choice. But yeah, they would. That's how you create humans. How do you know this? That things was... hasn't been started. The whole universe is how do you now, know this podcast now exists? We can put in front of this fucking. We just I know this, this point laptop. exists because I consciously am able to recognize that I am alive. How? By living. But th yeah. there's no other way. <laughs> You've been alive 10 seconds. Everything before has just, just seemed, like, no, didn't even happen. I have not been alive for 10 seconds. Yeah, because the we've world's just started just right been... now. <laughs> oh, my God. How, how can you prove that it wasn't? You can't. It's you impossible. can't. You can't right, prove Right, let's move on. Let's move on. It's also a terrible, like... <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to say something. Um, time. Yeah, time. Mm -hmm. um, time goes very... Like fast when you're having fun, but when you're bored, time doesn't really pass. I yeah. can already answer this for you. Well then, well, I haven't finished, have I? You can answer it anyway. Answer it. Come on, come on, answer it. You can because answer, mate. Come on. And it's because because when you're um, doing something interesting, exactly. You, yeah, you don't have the, the concept of time. You don't really look at the time. So you no, it's, it's no, it's because it's because you do things which are creating memories and when you're doing something that's boring you're not going to create memories because it's not important so you remember the stuff that is um you, re you obviously remember the stuff that gives you exactly. more memories See, I, and I, it I also explains it why it I also explains know. why when perhaps you're younger time seems to go more slowly and you can remember quite a little you can remember quite a bit from your childhood and things always seem longer like when yeah, I look because... back about me being a kid Summer holidays used to last for ages, but that's just my that's just my memory thinking. There's a 
like a fuckload of experiences that have gone on there. Yeah, exactly. And as you get older, your experiences just become the same and the same. So there's no point in storing them. So yes, yeah, so you've got to live a really yeah. active lifestyle and like skydive every day. Exactly. And then time would be. And yours. then you'll live longer. You can live forever. Exactly. That is the cure to aging. Yeah. Just, just great <laughs> memories. You know what I'm doing now? I'm going to go find the Somalian guy. Why? Because memories. Like, chill to hang with? Nah. He <laughs> <laughs> just looks like the guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> to say haters would say. <laughs> so have we, have we all, I think you two have both talked about what your ideal afterlife would be. Yeah. What would yours be? Mine, mine would be to... Just night ball in everywhere you look. No, actually, <laughs> it would be it would be for me to die, then come back to life and relive my life, but a different time period. So I'd die, and then I would some go into a parallel universe or whatever, whatever explanation is required, and then relive my life, but then in let's say a hundred years in the future, and have my family exactly the same, have exactly the same people in the world. But just be a hundred years in the future, so it's like more technologically advanced. Okay. <laughs> Ali, <some> yeah. <laughs> I just, I just think that would be quite interesting. Do you get to choose, like, when you come back? Can you go back in the past? No, I, no? I prefer it to be random because you get like it, with with this kind of afterlife, you get infinite opportunities, really. So it'll be all over the place. I, I would uh, want choice. What, what the... What do you think about this? When you die, time ends. Well, it does for you if you put like. No, I, no, no. But no, 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 no. Let, let me add a bit more context to that then, because you know when you sleep, you, you don't. Really oh, so have like your, so like the whole okay, thing just of like your center okay, of the sure, universe. I'm not the co-host of this no, podcast no, I, I or anything. Saying, I'm not important or anything. You can go. Come on. I'm gonna take your job. <laughs> 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 that was slow motion for me. <laughs> it went in slow motion I'm for you. Gonna take you a job. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> Ali, continue. What were you saying? Expired. Okay, I was saying because uh, uh, when you die, time ends. Uh, basing it on when you sleep and you wake up, this you feel as if no time has passed. So when you die, you're not going to have any conception, like. Uh, like off time and so time has ended but so you're in the future when you die but the thing that I think with that with it, like is the fact that if like the the yeah. fact that if you die time ends okay but like then yeah you can't explain it and I've said I'm correct just stop no no I, I, I think it's I think it's a good thing what you said there yeah, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it's it's the whole thing that tried to keep on my you, good side. It, <laughs> I, I think I could link with that the fact that you're not quite sure that anything else really exists outside your own existence. Like you just can't be sure. Like you can be yeah, sure exactly. of yourself, but you can't be sure of like anything else. Exactly. I, I don't know if you guys just exist to make my life more interesting. I'm just a simulation. And exactly. what you're also saying is that you can't prove that the world just started right now and everything else has been implanted as memories. Exactly. Yeah. You can't. So you can't prove anything. That's the fear we have. <laughs> and the world comes full circle. Um, so, apparently, there's a super black hole in the universe right now, going at 330,000 miles per hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that will be the one that's at the center of our galaxy. Do you wanna do you wanna go there? Is, it, is that how you I want to die? I give up on life. Is that, is that Bye. Have a great day, it's... guys. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Keep um, on just... No, apparently... See. No, no, because a black hole and a black hole, like, collided, so they created a super black hole. Yeah, but on you, get, you, get, you get super massive black holes, like, at the centre of every single galaxy. No, but this is a super one. Super, super. Yeah, it still wouldn't... No, 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 it's a super, like... super, 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 this super, super... This is the Donald Trump of black holes. It doesn't yeah. matter if you keep adding billions of black holes, it's still a black hole and it's still possible. And it's still just going to wander around, dragging anything around with it. Exactly. What would you do if that was coming straight at us? 
Um, well, it's a death either way because if it comes even within the solar system, we're dead. I would do a Superman pose and just wait. <laughs> just, just stand <laughs> <with it. laughs> Embrace it. Like, I'm taking well, this on. If you jumped in the air, you would probably, you could then Superman all the way into the black hole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It would look awesome. What a way to go. But then wow. you would. Then you come out the other side and you realize, oh shit, that's not death. And then you're just like in a no, you, field you, you full of aliens and you just come through like Superman. Uh, like, fuck. You absolutely would be dead. <laughs> like. <laughs> You just go up, you come out of the other side and you just hit them as aliens lead on. You just get teleported to random other black holes where aliens are just waiting for you and everyone like gets a uh, random human on their planet and you just but, get but through. But that is Superman. going to happen. That is going to happen to our galaxy. We're going to merge with our Milky Way galaxy is going to merge with of course its name. Hmm? Andromeda. Yeah, there we go. And I forgot what their name is. All was. all models have um shown that we'd be absolutely fine. Oh, so they're not going to collide? No, we are going to collide, but... It's oh, Earth is, oh, okay, our solar system is going to be fine. Then. Well, yeah, Earth, will, but Earth by then will have already been swallowed by the sun, but... What if, do you mean swallowed Earth... by the sun? Our sun is not big enough to become a black hole. Do you want me to explain the complex processes of nuclear fission and fusion? Oh, okay, I get, I, I get, I get what you... Yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. So... Long so story. You're not talking about the sun becoming a black hole. You're talking about the sun. No, I'm talking about giant. the sun. Sun, yeah, yeah, that red giant. Yeah, I, I guess. Because what in the fields that is gonna it's gonna expand and what in the part of yeah that's the reason why they're planning to move to Mars because Mars is not. We could. Uh, I, I think we will find a way to move Earth. Honestly. Well, well I'm I'm, I'm, pla I'm already uh, planning. I'm saying we just. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a right, textbook full Phoenix. of stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We just That's got we... the idea all wrong. <laughs> exactly. We just cover the sun. With what? <laughs> with aluminium. With aluminium foil. <laughs> the, the sun. The sun burns. Protect my shit in the oven. It's <laughs> about like, I don't know if it's like 10 I could imagine. Celsius. A, a like... white British male is saying that. Fuck you, man. <laughs> just an aluminium foil. <laughs> That's why they wear the tin hats, dude. They don't want their brain getting melted. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like oh, cyborgs. Oh, another topic. Another topic. Have you? No, no. Oh, wait. Have you heard? Have you heard about the alien harm that's been heard around the world? The trumpets. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. The alien harm. Let me just talk about this as well. And the alien apparently... harm. It's it's last heard in Bristol. You have to be absolutely delusional <laughs> to think this is real. And to believe that aliens come all the way to Earth to just they zip have. around the planet. To just so zip around the planet. Well. Yeah, I'm not I'm not denying that we could be like from aliens or whatever. It's just the fact that people think like the flaw with alien we're seeing alien spaceships is is it would be an incredibly expensive operation to fly, you know, halfway across the galaxy or whatever, to come to Earth to just fly around in the sky to do but now. They've got that technology. They've got that technology. It's still going to cost fucking loads, though. Like, aliens will have currency, because frankly, there's no other way the world would work. So, excuse this is me, no I know, unless they're communist and they're socialist, you know. The oh, yeah. Communist alien just rules the Communi shit. Communist aliens from the planet of Red Soviet Russia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lenin, That's what USA did. Lenin planet. <laughs> <laughs> the moon will be painted red. <laughs> yeah, universe just red. Um, red giant left, right, center. But, but you know what I mean, don't you? The fact that it will be completely pointless for an alien to come to Earth and not yeah, land. I, I, I get what you mean. But what if Obama, Trump, Elizabeth, uh, Merkel are all lizards who are aliens? For fuck's sake, man. No, no, no. Okay, we'll save that for the fucking conspiracy fucking episode. Exactly, that's the question <laughs> to finish off. I, no, no, I want to go back to space a second. There's a planet, no, a, a oh, moon, right. a moon on, I think it's Saturn or maybe Jupiter, there's a moon and it's full of oil. And apparently that's going to spark, you know, rich people to put the money into NASA to go and get the oil and bring it back. And that's going to help space travel. Um, and apparently that's how it's going to, you know, we're going to advance forward with space travel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. The yeah, yeah. About to time. About so, time. About so time. What do you mean? The Internet was created in 1998. Exactly. No. What have we been doing? Technology needs to slow down right now. 
Like by the end of my lifetime, why, there's probably going to be space we, travel. Why aren't we mining other planets and mining the moon? Exactly. Why? We've got resources because the moon landing was just a conspiracy. Well, we, we can make it real by it. having shells going <laughs> there and drilling for oil, which won't work because there's no fossil fuels there. Exactly. You no fossils to. there. So drilling yeah. for oil on other planets is completely pointless. Exactly. Where's the fossil fuels? But there is fossil fuels, there is oil on this moon, and that's... They've... Well, there could be oil, but there will be fossil... Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. So that's why they're going there. Cheng, shut the fuck up. You're wrong. Why don't you say it in my face, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's um. Would you want to go to space if you had the choice? No, I would. I would uh, if it was for, a, I wouldn't want to do like space station. I I would you do see, the, I, if I was if I was gonna be like a job on the moon or something, then yeah, why not? Strippers. And I was, and I was, yeah, and blackjack. Yeah. And put, yeah. Just, just a, in fact, yeah. forget the forget the blackjack. <laughs> Space is what I fear, so I would never want to go up to space. If there was a way for me to just like drive to the moon, then that would be perfect. That I swear they're working on a space next, elevator. Uh... A space elevator? Nah, yeah, that's, like, too much. two kids in a back garden just fucking piling rocks. Is that what it is? How far they've got? Ha 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 ha. It's a long drive, like 380,000 yeah. kilometers. To where? Uh... What what's mm. going on right now? I'm confused. Gone like off track and Jenks got his kid, I think. Uh, no. So, good old no, the next door. Good um, old Rakeba. Rakeba. I said Rakeba. Rakeba. New word. <laughs> new language. <laughs> yeah, the alien language. The alien. Oh, oh. Now, man, I'm saving it for the conspiracy theories. Saving for the conspiracies. We've been going an hour. This has been the longest podcast <laughs> yeah, we've done. Yeah, so. Matty, it's been a pleasure having you. Oh, thank you very much. Can we have Matty next week as well? It's been great being on. Bobster, to be fair. Matty is the third co-host. Is he? I'm, I'm sorry, yes, but... Yes, that, that, that would be brilliant. I've, I've, I've run my own podcast, I'm afraid. Fuck okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks, just put him in the general chat. Yeah, I'll just put him in the general chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, just please, come on. See you later, dude. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Did you end it? Did you end it? No, no, I put him in general. Ah, okay, okay. Um, we're going to end it now anyway. We've been going an hour. Okay. Um, I think that's sufficient. Love. We talked about a bunch of shit today. Yeah, so I, re I really work. like this podcast. Really great like work it. talking shit today, boys. Nailed yeah. it. Um, it didn't really work out, but still. Okay. Thanks, Ali, for joining me again. Thanks to uh, to Matty Bowles for joining as a guest. Yeah. Um, and I was ill, and I was sick, and I still did this dedication. Everybody's sick, Ali. Make Stop sure. Make sure. Right, I'm going to end the podcast. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Good night.